Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can already see on the screen. If you are going to do a bit of business in 2021, then please keep it in the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. This is your preview show for Saturday's away game against Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium in sunny South Wales. Four points from our last two games. We are on the right track, hopefully. But as we know, Saturday games do seem to be the problem. Let's start out with taking a look at the 11 that I think the gaffer might pick to start the match. So in my opinion, it has to be an unchanged side. As you know by now, I was quite impressed the other night. I thought it was a good step in the right direction. Two changes were made from the team that won at Huddersfield. Kenza Hall came in for Bavardson and Keith came in for Sean Williams. So I think he should go with the same. I'm going to say that as well, Ryan Woods included. I think we're not far away now from being a lot better side than we were. we still got a little way to go. And obviously, as we always say, consistency is the problem. So I think it'd be silly to change it. Um, there is one. If we could change anything, I'd get a new centre-half in. Because obviously, Pierce's legs are gone. He can't play two games a week. And I don't really feel we can lean on him too much. Murray Wallace, obviously, our injured with a broken foot. so And he clearly don't fancy Hayden Muller all of a sudden, which is disappointing. So... If he's going to buy a centre-half, I'll be interested to get another centre-half in and putting Ryan Leonard back into midfield and dropping Woods and then putting Lenny inside uh, Keithton Bell. But I don't think that's going to happen. So as things stand, I would happily go with the same team at Cardiff on Saturday. Do I think he'll go with the same team? I've got a funny feeling. I don't know why. Obviously, Kenzo Hall would play against his old club. I've got a funny feeling he might he might go with, um, with Bavardson. Don't shoot a messenger. Well, not a messenger. It's just, it's just a hunch. I don't know why, I've just got a funny feeling that he might change things when he shouldn't. And if he does, then, you know, he's making a rod for his own back because, as I said, four points in the last two games, surely he's got to keep it the same. So moving on to our opposition is, of course, Cardiff City. As I'm sure you all know, sacked Neil Harris recently after a run of poor results. Neil Harris, of course, resigned from our job. Gary Rowett came in. Harris went to Cardiff. First season, we soon had the playoffs, but this year, it wasn't going so well, and they lost five league games in a row. And as a result, Neil Harris lost his job. I can't believe who they brought in. They brought in Mick McCarthy, still going strong at 61 years of age. Of course, a 29-year career in management. He started it at Millwall. Hi, I'm Mick McCarthy, bringing you all the latest news, views, and interviews direct from the den. Who remembers, don't know what that accent was, but who remembers the old school club call back in the 90s? My parents definitely do. All they've got to do is look at their itemised phone bills from down the years when I used to ring up during games and just sit there listening for 90 minutes worth of about 10 of them at fucking 89 p.m. minute. But anyway, Mick McCarthy, I'm surprised he's got this job, if I'm honest, but he can do a job in a championship. He's, I feel for him, because he's really old now. Sort of photo of me, he looks really, really old. He started his career, as I said, at Millwall, he was a Millwall player between 1990 and 92, and allegedly led a player revolt to get rid of Bruce Rioch, and then took over from Bruce Rioch between 92 and 96. He left Millwall, and obviously after that, the shit show went south, and he got relegated. He went to the Republic of Ireland, he's since managed Wolves, he's managed Ipswich for a long time, he went back to the Republic of Ireland, and recently, he had a spell in Cyprus with Cypriot team Apoel. He wasn't there long at all, and now he's back on home soil, and you just couldn't write that his first home game as a manager is against Millwall. Cardiff currently sit 15th in the table, one place above us, and we are on exactly the same points. So they will be expecting a win, as the boys have already said in their pre-match shows. If you haven't checked that one out yet, please do. We do seem to usually get a draw against Cardiff, whether it's home or away. Last time out was last night. It was Mick McCarthy's first game in charge. They were 2-0 down away at Barnsley. They come back 2-2 in the game. The one to watch is Kiefer Moore. I wanted him to buy him for us a couple of times, but it didn't pan out that way. He always causes us problems. He scored last night, and he will be the one to watch on Saturday at the Cardiff City Stadium. So this is your pre-match prediction, and here we go. Difficult one, this. I think, you know, it's written to Big Mick to return and do, do a number on us. As I said, stop the rot. Five straight losses, six if you include their FA Cup defeat. Comes in last night, it's looking to go in the same way. And uh, I didn't watch the game, I don't think subs late, but they pulled two back late on, which shows a bit of character and a bit of fight for their new manager. So, as I said, I was half tempted to say it's written and they're going to beat us. I'm going to be a little bit more upbeat than that. I really think that Keith in midfield, um, corn beef, by the way, if you want to get on me in the comments for not liking that one, I don't give a fuck, don't watch the channel. Um, yeah, Keith Dumbelled, or Keith, call him what you like, I really think that he's given us a little bit more 
and um, Lenny playing well centre half, Danny Mackin in our Ben Thompson getting selected. As I said, it's given us definitely more of a Millwall vibe and a Millwall feel about our starting at 11. So, on that basis, I'm drawn between. The, I've already said I'm getting, I'm getting worse than Chitty saying about all these results. I originally thought they might beat us. I've swayed back on the back of what I thought was a good performance against Watford to say it's going to be a draw. I couldn't face another 0 0 draw, so I was going to say. I think it'll be 1-1 one, one with a moment of magic from Jerry. We haven't had one of them for a fucking long time. We had one last time, of course, at the Cardiff City Stadium. But I've got to be honest with you and say exactly what I feel. I'm going, unfortunately, it pains me to say it. Cardiff nil, Millwall nil. So that's your lot for this preview show. I absolutely milked the shit out of that prediction, didn't I? But there you go. Please be sure to check out the fan score predictions from the other boys at Lions TV that's gone out in tandem with this video. And if you think you know what the score is going to be, do not be shy to put it in the comments below. Bobby Bowery joins me tomorrow morning for Lions Lounge Lockdown, episode 41. The guest started to dry up as I thought. I've unlocked a few doors like We've got a few big hitters coming on. Bear in mind, we're coming towards 50 shows as well. So I'm going to try and get a very special guest in for the 50th episode of Lockdown. I'll be live streaming tomorrow night from 8 p.m. The lineup, the new lineup 11 live show will go live. And you can sit here with me and decipher and vote and decide. I don't know why I keep pulling these big words out because I'm not even sure what I mean. But when I put it on Instagram, as I said, I want to put it on Twitter or Facebook, what the team should be. Everyone seems to want to have their input. So it is a democracy. I looked it up. Join me tomorrow from 8 p.m. live on YouTube to help me pick our best team for Cardiff on Saturday. So that's your lot for this preview show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Before I go, I'm going to give myself a birthday shout-out. Yeah, fuck it. I am. I'm 41 years old today. So if you want to say happy birthday or abuse me in the comments, feel free. But I'm stuck indoors, feeling a bit sorry for myself with stomach ache. So, yeah, it's my birthday. Why not? Milk the shit out of it. It's your channel. Do what you like. And I'll see you tomorrow night from 8 p.m. on YouTube. From 7. No, yeah, from 8 p.m. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.